I'm going to give you the single best method to improve in the early stages of game development. And by far the best thing I did to improve my skills and become better at every single aspect of making games is making a playable and more importantly shippable prototype of a game every single month. Let's say you start on January. You got four weeks till the deadline where you have to ship this to a friend. And your first prototype will be a jump and run game. Each of you will start differently now, based on the knowledge and experience you may have. If you are like me and start your game dev career from nothing, thinking that C means the average score you got in League, you might watch some tutorials first on how to even start. And this is fine. But now you have a goal you can work towards. For me, I was overwhelmed with all the tutorials and possibilities out there. Committing myself to do a jump and run game helped me a lot to focus on a clear and usable path. So I started on learning basic jump inputs, watched tutorials on collision that could kill the player and the blueprints behind a finish line. But so far this method isn't really special. But on week 4 there lies the magic. You will start noticing that you are not even close to have a finished project yet. That you are missing a main menu, some instructions and you don't even know how to wrap all this up into a shippable game. Most young game devs stays in that period of unfinished projects and trying new ideas for years without having something to show off. Committing yourself to a deadline at the end of the 30 days will make you start focusing on the hidden parts of game development and actual finishing it. And yes, it will lack content. It won't be polished and it might look awful. Hell, the first one I made was ugly as f I just clustered some assets, wrote the shittiest lines of codes and made a nightmare of a character. <laughs> But I had a working game in just a few weeks. I completed something and I gained so much experience from it. And if you continue this for six months in a row, setting yourself harder and more challenging goals, your skills will skyrocket. At the end of these six months, you will have six different prototypes and now you can decide which one was the most fun to make. Then you pick one of these six and start working on it till the full release game. And I know, not every one of you will have someone that is waiting to play your game. Heck, some of you guys are doing this game dev journey in complete silence and without telling anyone. I did it this way. And the benefits of having such a small YouTube channel is being able to help you and interact with every single one of you. So I would be honored to be your deadline buddy and play your game at the end of the 30 days. Just send it to gamedevstudios at gmail.com. So guys, I really hope that some of you would try this method and I wish you all the best and I see you soon.